The Get Annals Carbon Action Project is about addressing climate change on a local level. Now Scotland has very ambitious targets to address greenhouse gases in, over the coming years and decades and the Gatehouse Carbon Action Project is a small part of that, that national drive. The project hopes to achieve a 22% uh, reduction in carbon emissions within a year. So we'll be looking to focus on um, energy reduction at home, low carbon transport schemes and waste minimisation. The project uh, began officially on the February 8th, um, 2010 and our first event was held at the, the local school where we demonstrated renewable energy technologies to all the pupils. It was a great event and um, we, we saw about 90 pupils that day. This is a joint project um, with Cretown and Dalbiti. Now we all have the same aims and what's nice about it is we're all in communication. So if one of us has a great idea, we all share it around. So ultimately, you know, the three communities will work together and make it more successful. So we have until um, the end of March 2011 to achieve a 22% reduction. We'll be um, operating um, a carbon, domestic carbon survey. So we will aim to visit 80% of households in Gatehouse. We'll look at their, um, their lifestyle, um, the type of house they have, the type of car they, they drive, um, how frequently they travel, for example. And this all culminates in a, a tailor-made carbon footprint for that individual. And once we've established that, we can then focus on um, helping, helping them to reduce that. The Crichton Carbon Centre has a, a specific role in, in this project. It was key members of the, of the Carbon Centre that originally got this project off the ground and their role now is to process all the survey data. Kick off with a bit of a daft one. 
Um, that's the ones we like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if a pint of beer represents the whole atmosphere, um, one and a half drops represents carbon dioxide. Okay, question four. Which country has the greatest number of coal power generators? Easy one, this. Is it Canada, Russia, the US, or China? Coal power generators. <laughs> lucky enough to be supported by the Carbon Trust to help start this initiative here. Uh, what we're trying to do is reconnect children with nature. When we go out to forest school we go to the same site and they're very aware that there's suddenly no electricity or no running water and you have to make do with what you've got. So they realise what damage, what effect they're having on every single little twig and branch we do quite a bit of bushcraft, but they don't learn it in order to get a badge, they learn it because they want to build a fort. And here we've got lots of material that they can use to do that. Oh, good. Good. 